is Jesus? You know, one day the disciples was asked that question. They said, you're a prophet. Finally, Peter said, you're Christ, the son of the living God. I want to tell you something, folks. Jesus pre-existed as God before this world was, was created. Jesus created this world. Jesus created the universe. You don't believe me? Read first chapter of Colossians. Read first chapter of Hebrews. Jesus is God. He's God Almighty in the flesh. Yes, there's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God didn't have to abdicate the throne to come down here and die for the sins of the world. Jesus came, the second person of the Godhead. He came, the God-man came. Why did Jesus have to become a man? I'll tell you why. God can't die. The substitute, the one who would die for the sins of the world, the sacrificial offering, the Lamb of God, would have to become a man so that God could die, because God can't die. And whoever would be the sin offering for the human race would have to be human to legally represent the human race at the altar of the cross. Jesus became a man born of a virgin, of a woman, but the Holy Spirit overshadowed him. He was cloned, so to speak, into that human egg and came forth the God-man, 100% God, 100% man. And because he was still God, he can die for billions of souls. He was infinite. He can die for every finite creature on planet Earth. God, in the person of Jesus Christ, went to the cross of Calvary to be the sin offering for humankind who had fell into sin through Adam and Eve, way back yonder in the Garden of Eden. Are we responsible for their sins? We were corrupted by their sins. When we were born, we were born with a corrupt nature. God not, does not only forgive us when we come to Jesus, He changes us. He literally gives us a new spirit. He makes us a brand new you. The Bible says you must be born again. It's a miracle to be a Christian. I'm here to tell you, God takes care of everything. And Jesus is God. What a great love. God left heaven's glory, came down to this earth, was abused, beat up by men, and finally killed, but with a purpose. God had a, a overlying purpose for this whole thing, the cross. He was substituted for us. Now the judgment is satisfied. He received the judgment that we deserve. And now the mercy is offered to you right now. Will you ask Jesus to save you? I don't care where you're at, what you did. Just say, Jesus, forgive me. Pray this prayer. Jesus, forgive me. Come into my heart, Lord. I turn from my sin. Change me. Make me a holy child of God. And I will follow you all the days of my life. Amen. God bless you.